Welcome to this series where we are playing the War and Industry Update for Reforged Eden. This was released in September 2023. In the last part, we we're working on the bottom of the capital vessel, rebuilding in the layers to make it a bit stronger. And I think overall that has gone fairly well. Just to give you a view of what I was actually done. Open the and you can see and what I've done is textured some of it in. I've kind of tidied up a few of the awkward corners here. I think I've still got one or two that I, I think I've still got a problem with this. And I kind of copped out a little bit and just put a block in that sticks out a little bit from this point of view. I'm, I'm not totally sure if that's the way I want it to be. But you can see I've now kind of brought all this in. And all, the other thing I've also done off camera is I've... Uh, come around here and there was a number of xeno steel blocks had come through into this room and what i've done is replace them with hardened steel blocks so that i can get the texturing right and the other thing also if i come in here you'll see that uh, the farm has been replanted so that i can get start collecting some crops again and I've, what i've done is is i've actually grouped the various uh, plants in according to category now, one tip I will give, in fact, I better get to the other side because I want to do a bit of work over there anyway. Oh, the other thing I've also done is you can see the grey strip now extends all the way down. And what I've done is I've extended the, uh, where is it, the ammunition controller. And we've now got an ammunition locker of 300, um, 320,000. And so I've just extended this back because I thought, well, it, one, it gives me a consistent texture. And two, it just gives me all that extra storage. So, and the other thing, I've, another thing I've done is I've readjusted the glass here so that I've got protection for when we start work on bringing in the rear of the ship. So this is where I've got to. Now, one, uh, one tip I will give you is that if you've only got limited growing space, don't grow these plant protein. Grow these vegetables. Now, so let me just pick the vegetables then i'll explain why you want to prioritize vegetables over plant protein so if i just pick the, these up i don't think oh we, yeah the carvers pre-harvest and the reason is if i come into here and just click on raw food and then we go to here what you will see is if you want um, milk uh, you can get that from plant protein and purified water. If you want meat, you can get it from um, two plant protein, one vegetable. And if you want plant protein, you can get a one-to-one -one from vegetables. So if you're tight for space, to give you the maximum number of food options and other options, it pays to put in vegetables over protein. Because then if you need protein, the, the game can actually turn the vegetables into protein. Now, I've put a few uh, protein plants in partly just simply because it speeds up the food production process because it removes that one step of turning the vegetables into protein but if you are short for space that's a tip that you do want to do now what what you see up here is i've prepared this space because i want to put in a, a, a more upgraded hydroponics plant in here and the way you do it is that the hydroponics plant still is a three by three but you've got to have a single grow plot in the center for it to sit on. If you don't have a single grow plot, then what will happen is that you can't place the, the hydroponics. If we go into there, we go into, oh, I can just select input. And if we go to here, I'll just show you the hydroponics. Now, the way it works is that you've got the hydroponics bay, which you've got to build, and this needs nine um, steel grow plots, 20 octopal fiber, one ventilator, which all could be manufactured, nine fertilizer and eight aluminum foil. Those are the two awkward things that you do need to get in order to make this. And then you get 10 steel plates, eight to 10 glass plates. Now you, you could build this, but what you really want to do is build the specialist hydroponics, which is this one here. I, what I want is the option to be able to um, create harvest pentaxid. Now to do that is you need the hydroponics bay there 
and you also need um, nine permethrin hydrocells, nine hydrogen bottles, and then of course what you need is nine pentaxid seed crystals. So that is so what we can do is kick that off. That will get built. You can see I've got to build the one grow plot. Uh, so if you haven't, so you see I've got to build the one grow plot because I kept the one in the center. And so that so we'll get that built. Now let's just get to what we're going to be doing in this part. I think we've exhausted the starter systems, so I think it's now time to kind of broaden our horizons and, well, go a few places. I've also put up some posters on this side to balance the ones on this side. I think there's a, a couple of duplicates as well, but I, I think I quite like that. And then we're going to jump into the ship. We are still kind of where we were in the last part. We'll turn the thrusters on. I can't, won't turn the shield on just yet because we want to put down the hydroponics bay. And I, I was thinking about where we're going to be going. And I think I'd like to kind of, because we got that mission, part of me says, let's just go towards the um, Xerax territory. We've got Polaris territory there. We've got colonists, and I think we've got, I think behind the Polaris system is the Brotherhood of Far. So I'm wondering where we can go. Now, another thing that I want to do is that if you look right at each of the individual systems, there's a letter classification. Now, this is a real classification. It's I think it's O B A F G K M, and that that is actually used by um, astronomers to classify systems or star systems that they're in real life. Now, and I think O is the cold, coolest planets, and then it goes right through to G, K, and M, which are the hottest planets. And I really want to see how that actually works, but at the same time, I don't really want to get into going to a really super hot planet at the moment uh, I'm kind of thinking and then we got something called solitude unclaimed behind maybe we'll go this way that's only 14 there we got a GTAR system there I think we'll go to um, oh we've actually got a few more planets now <laughs> uh, wake up it's it is quite early in the morning apologies and this video is actually going to be a bit late as well uh, because uh, all the Christmas arrangements that are going on. I think we'll go to this one here. That kind of takes us to there. I mean, in some ways it's a bit of an arbitrary decision anyway. Because what I'm looking for is somewhere where we can uh, kind of engage the Xerox. I've, I've lost the where we can engage the Xerax uh, so that we can also work on the mission on the right hand side there. We've got to kill 200 troopers. So there's no point going to a system that's uh, friendly. Uh, we need we need something like that. Plus we've got to keep the constant supply of resources up and running as well. So we, we got to this system here. So we've got a kind of white star here. All right, let's see what we've got in the way of well, that's not exactly, I was hoping a little bit more on the planet side there. Well, it says easy, increased trading common. Another thing I wouldn't mind is a, a what we call it? Uh -huh. It's not functioning this morning. A desert planet there, undiscovered. Uh, hard new decoration systems testing. Oh, look at that new decoration system in Tesla. Jungle wood with thick forests teeming with life. Complete scans making it hard, hand hand chip mounted detectors. Uh, okay. I I think what that actually got Estrum on it. I don't really want to go down on a jungle planet to begin with because the downside of jungle planets is the fact that it's Full of danger okay <laughs> we, we found it i've actually just noticed this it says average npc level one two is that new i don't ever recall seeing that before 
what is the gravity? The gravity is 1.6 G. Then mm. that could be actually that planet there looks like it's got. Oh, there's a barren. Oh, right. It's got sapium on it. Actually, we're going to go there because I need sapium for my to get the combat blocks because I, I want to start building up the resources in order to build the hangar on the back because one thing I do feel that I do need a hover tank therefore I do need the ability to carry it so we're going to go here oh, and if there's nothing here we'll just move on this is the random nature of traveling through the galaxy in this game you, you don't know what's on the planet until you go so if it, as I say, if there's nothing here of great interest, we're... right? Well, we got we got some there. We got some pentaxid, got silicon and pentaxid here. It, oh, we got a level three trading station as well. Now that could be useful. Uh, question is those um chips part of me wants to go to that trading station i think we're going to head for it but we're going to be oh wow <laughs> we got a tavara class dreadnought okay <laughs> um maybe going to the trading station would be, might not be such a good idea we could probably take on a light corvette or something like that but we certainly can't take on a Tavora class ship. No, well, we could, but we wouldn't survive. That's a dead cert. Go to short range scan. Right, we've come down on a crash capital vessel. Got a large silicon deposit. We've got a heat signature over there. Right, what have we got on the way of? We've got 18 pentaxid. I wouldn't mind the pentaxid. We've got 12 safium, 12 promethium. It's a fairly big planet. I'm going to head for the heat signature over there. Just to see if that's a target. Uh, I know it's a deflection because we're looking for Xerax, but I need somewhere to put the ship down where we can work from. We also, oh, we've got an unknown artifact. Okay. <laughs> So that is also potentially a good source as well. Uh, anyway, so what are you firing at? Well, we've got drones. Got to be a little bit careful because we're not using the shields at the moment. So I'm just going to let the the ship do the groundwork here but we've got two safety deposits here side by side we haven't actually destroyed any of these guys yet no. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the shields on I think we're going to drop the ship down and we're going to Gonna use the SV in support. Uh, this is not going according to plan. Then again, that kind of marks my my month at the moment. Uh, this this has been a very odd month in the sense that I set out with good intentions to do all sorts of things, and I've done very very little. The shields build back up again. You're down. Right, let's thin the opposition down a little bit. Dual mini gun. Uh, well, 
think we thin them down a bit. I think there's only the three here defending, so of course we're going to go down. We're firing at something. I'm not exactly sure what's on the ground. I haven't actually checked my suit, so... It's obviously something here that the game doesn't... Hello, we've got spiders. Lots of. Then again, I haven't uh, counted spiders for a little while. Where's the other one? The other one's just over there. We should be able to get him. We've got a bit of ammo. But right, we're going to get back to the ship. And we'll just bring the ship forward. Now we've thinned out the opposition. I think we'll just put down next to those two safety and deposits. I want both of them. But as I mentioned in the previous video, I won't mine them off on this car, on this part. And I say the art, the artifacts will be a good source of loot as well. Picking those up. We just need to find out where the Xerox are hanging out. Probably use the SV to do it. Anyway, we'll just move the ship closer in short range scan Get the ship off the ground just get in here what I, I think what I've done is I've set the sentry guns we'll just actually just inch forward a little bit further I've set the sentry guns to what we call it uh, got to remember sorry press P I've set because I've got a separate classification for the sentry guns so the sentry guns are set to take out predators Obviously, a bit of a problem here. Take these off. I forgot. Don't want this doing bases. Not at the moment, anyway. Not the sentry guns. The sentry guns are really for perimeter defense against bug uglies and other things. And then what we've got is the actual turrets. Actually, got set another third sentry gun. Better auto group it actually. Yeah. The only downside of building, we've got 12 turrets. Um, I don't want you taking out predators. Your job is to deal with hostiles, it might count for weight. I had a bit of an inconsistency. So we'll supply that. Go back to the sentry guns again. I think the uh, orange squares means that there's at least one turret that doesn't conform to the profile. So that gives us that capability. Then we've got all the pictures. Right. So next thing, I did take turn off the shield, didn't I? I need to turn off the shield. And what we'll do is we'll just put in the, uh, what we call it, Well, that can go in input. It can go in main storage. And then what we'll do is just pick up the hydroponics plant. And we're around here. Um, now, if I, what you see is, see, look, if it's not centered on that grow plot, it won't do it, but what that does now is gives us the ability to uh, produce pen, uh, pentaxid, put the ship back on. We want some form of defense. Uh, we're going to need some food. The other thing I've also done is had a, quite a major clear out of there. Uh, we've got 200 sapien plates. Where did they come from? Go 
let's see I want to look at my harvest controller as well what I did is I've done is I've had a really big clear out of all the kind of junk that I'd accumulated over time so I didn't pick any food so that I can get what I wanted and we'll have uh, food and meds so we'll just eat uh, pizza go food out I don't, I'm not planning on getting into a major war but I think we'll take the beans with us and I'll take some emergency rations with us just in case and what's the ammunition situation actually as well with the respect to the merc as well production controller don't have that much ammunition actually let me just see production controller some that could probably do with some more unguided missiles and laser charges Let me just make sure if I go to in storage okay I'm gonna make some more make some what's that that would be 10 20 30 of those and we need the type a laser charges as well there too so if we make about 10 of those what i can do is scout the immediate area area sorry not error <laughs> while we're actually doing it maybe clear out the so turn the power on yeah apologies for the ookie green they i'm not going to mine that out um, okay, I'm going to leave the unknown artifact for the moment. Yeah, right. So we've kind of got this area here. A crash capital vessel over there, which could be quite nice. I think we'll go and check that out. So we'll, we'll do a perimeter sweep first. Check the crash capital vessel. See if it's got any large thrusters on it. I'm not too worried about the medium thrusters. I've got lots of those. Oh, this is this. Um, this is a one of the new types of crash capital vessel, which kind of go up in a slope. So they're like a mini POI. We got eighty-one of those get rid of you gotcha. <laughs> yeah I mean there is a certain amount of loot on this crash capital vessel but it's uh, it's something that we possibly could take down um, Little bit of scrap and that, nothing much. Right, let's just fly around. Well, I think radar station there. No, this is, yeah, this does have pentaxid on it. Now, if I can find some pentaxid, I will definitely mine that. So we're just kind of scoot out and do this. I don't know what radar situation is, but I've got an enhanced radar, advanced shielding on here, which gives me radiation protection up to 23. Actually, did I, have I got an EVA boost on this? I have. Okay. I have to try and take that off. Right, there's another heat signature over there. There's a heat signature there. We've got a small Promethium deposit there. Medium Promethium. So we've got some reasonable size. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, great. Ah. Everything is shielded. We're definitely going to need something that's going to take down shielded 
buildings. It seems to be the new feature now that virtually all these Xerax bases are shielded, which is going to be a bit of a challenge for uh, a ship getting in there. What have we got here? Because you need a lot of firepower to actually tick. So we've got two motor vehicle buildings here. Yeah, we'll just go and check this one out. We've got some other radar signatures here as well. We're in Xerox territory. I'm not picking up any patrols at the moment. I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest. Um, right, we're going to go green so we can actually see what we're doing. I think that, what was that? That's the Xerox Temple. Xerox Temple would be quite nice. Famous last words. Okay, who's just been firing at me? I don't really want to spend. Okay, I'm better off with you two. I can't see them on the ground. Well, we got 21 of them. <laughs> can't see them. Okay, so it looks like we may have to do this with attacking patrols. Apologies that we're in the green. 26. If we can actually loot these guys, just push it. 27. No, I'm not. Okay, we're just going to do it with missiles. Could have done this one on foot, but we can't see who's around. Anyway, we've got 36 out of about 200. Uh, not something that I intended to do, but <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, who's firing at me now? I think, I think maybe this might be the best way to get the 200 because I, I have been told that uh, that eventually we've got to be able to take down cores. So if we do it this way, oops. Okay, we've got no ammo. Yeah, maybe if we do it this way. And then, if that will make, then if, if we get to the point in the mission where we need the cores, it's going to make make it worthwhile to invest in actually taking down these areas. So maybe that will make sense. Just hate doing all this killing and not actually getting a chance to loot any of these guys. There's a couple there. I oh, cut it out. 
Blim. <laughs> well, we'll get a tiny amount of them. Some shotgun shells and some fruit. It's got to be done. Oh, we got up to 45 for 200. Oh, there's some ripper dogs just turned up. Uh, a bit late, guys. Sorry. Maybe this is the best way to do things. We will loot those. Actually, my shield's gone. Okay, I'm pushing my luck here. I'm just going to... Up to 45 out of 200. We will loot those guys. And... And you. We might have taken some damage on the ship as well, so. Because uh, we were fighting a little while there for without uh, drones. And we got that iguana on the thingy. I think just here. Got a nice chunk of meat out of that. Right, time to go. We're out of ammunition. Um, <laughs> need to go north. I'm out of position here. Right, there's a radar signature over there. Something just there. These guys are... That's a shielded artificial... Whoops. We need a hover tank, something or a SV with some serious armament on it. Right, let me just get back towards the ship because uh, let me just see what we got here. We got 12 out of 41 left. We can do a reload on that. Right, I don't really want to go through the fire zone again. Uh, Go kind of west and north. Where are we? Yeah, we've kind of strayed right down through this area here. We go west, up, and then up north back towards the ship. Uh, that will make sense. Right, we're out of laser ammunition. We are gatling guns. Are what is that? down there no, nothing there hello guys right, just drop in very quickly and loot these guys <laughs> make uh, we can make a contribution to the to the overall success the fact that you're consuming my ammunition that gets us to 50 out of 200 that's 25 percent towards what we our total yeah, I think that is going to be the best way to do this, is to... Okay, who's firing at us now? We got Well, we got the missile ammunition, we're just going to do this pretty quickly. Where are you? There's Ripper Dogs. You're not worth the effort, sorry. I uh, don't think Ripper Dogs count, so that's going to be the strategy. Uh, I know I keep repeating, apologies. Uh, we're shoot up the patrols, get to 200, then hopefully the next one is we've got to destroy some cores, and then if we then what that then opens up the option of investing the time and effort to take down some of these POIs or some POIs, so that um, that will move the mission forward. 
go back to the ship, pick up some more. I think we're going to need quite a big pile of ammunition and some pentaxid. Actually, no, we don't really have enough. What we got there? What was that? Come on, go kid. I think I might. We might kind of attract some. Unfortunate, but that promethium could be worth mining. Again, worth. Oh, go away. The spiders. I think we're going to be reasonably good back to light. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine this methium out. Um, we'll just go to this way. Uh, seeing we're here. Okay, welcome back. You can see I'm now down to less than 10%. And we're in a kind of situation of diminishing returns now. Also... Uh, I think if you play on a multiplayer server, you don't ever want to mine out. Get you need to get into the habit of not actually mining out all the resources. The reason for that is that uh, if you do, it, it messes up the playfield. So you do need to be aware, get into that habit of leaving some resources behind. Anyway, we're going to get out into here. While I was actually mining that, it suddenly occurred to me that we've got a number of bases on this planet. We've got one, two, three, at least, possibly four. Well, we've got four. And it's possibly, because uh, even the size of the planet, there'll be other bases here. It could be worth bringing in a hover tank and using it, even if I don't have a hangar, that I can use the hover tank to tack that out. I think um, Spange has got some nice hover tanks, but if any of you got a, a nice hover tank with a shield knockdown capability, feel free to chuck it in the comments. And then what we can do then is actually um, build the hangar on it so that when we leave, we can take the hover tank with us. And that might be an option. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to go and dock in here. Just going to leave the tag here we'll just get let's drop it into here like this we're certainly going to need a lot more ammunition that's a dead set just that turn off the power I'll drop here of course it's got to be dark and then we're just load yeah you can see how low we've basically got very virtually no ammunition left at all uh, Certainly, we've got 796 from there. We've got some shells. It's, didn't get as much as I was hoping for. Um, considering how risky we're, we're in, I think what I will do is take out some of this shotgun ammunition as well. And we're, we're not using that. That can come out. Uh, we've got minigun rounds, I've got absolutely no idea that. I think I'm going to take out some of the drill charges as well. got pistol ammunition, I'm not exactly sure why I've got that in here either. I'm just, what I'm trying to do is kind of reduce down the risk that if I lose the SV I, I don't lose that much. That makes sense. Got a laser drill, um, mini gun. Oh, I've got the mini gun. That's why I've, I've just put two thousand rounds back in again. Player, right? We've got uh, more food. We need to offload that. Got the leather meat. Nah. I'm not going to deploy that. So input. Offload that. You can see here I've got 33,000 in there. 
another reason why I'm trying to find a trading station or anyone that will trade out those goods. Uh, where is it? What we're looking for, main storage. Mercury fed ammunition controller. Um, is that all the ammunition I thought I was making? We're going to need to make... Oh, we've got 20 charges. We could probably do with more than that, but we don't have the carry capacity. That's the problem. Um, I think I'm going to... We're going to go through a lot of ammunition, so... I'm going to make 20 of those. And we'll make another 4 or 5. How are we, how are we doing for per taxi? don't have a vast amount, so we're going to have to be a little bit careful. And I think just to finish off... I don't want to leave... Oh, wow, these guys have got... These have got power connectors on. But these ones don't. Well, that's weird. I didn't think this actually showed the power distribution. There's only the one. I think just to finish off, uh, I've done this many times before, but we're going because the other thing with the unknown artifact here is that still reload. I think this has got hardened blocks in. So what, this time round, what I could do is actually strip this for the hardened blocks. So that would give me a supply of blocks to rebuild the hangar. Right, we're going to just get line up. You can do it the quick way. Uh, so we're just actually drop down. Fire upwards into it. Maybe a little bit lower still. There it goes. <laughs> gotcha. Um, we're going to go green again. So first things first is we've got to get to about this level. Um, um, actually, we stop at this level because. Um, Go here, player. This controller. Be there. What we're actually going to do is we're going to take control. Because what that will mean is that if I put to the harvest controller and See what I was saying is I can get these out as hardened steel blocks Oh, we've got some alien blocks here as well. Haha, <laughs> yep. Oh, this is coming out as reactive matter as well. So, does that mean that you can't actually recover alien blocks anymore? I mean, I've got loads of reactive matter, so... That's actually good to know, actually, come to think of it. Is that... If you... If you... Oops. Oh. I mean, I still don't want to walk all the way around this place. This is why I'm... Kind of just destroying the loot boxes. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to put some stuff on here like this. So so far we've got a little bit of pen refined pentaxid that replaces the we've got a la laser cannon. For, uh, I just just occurred to me if I can get some more laser cannons, what I could do is. Uh, what we call it. What I could do is replace the drills on the front with laser cannons. 
they were. Let's just come in here. We know this is a red loot box. We got an advanced insulation booster. A heat protection 75 cold. That's not bad actually. Um, let's get in here. There's the other loot box. We've got hacking software, Esterum, and 21,000. Pretty good. Um, Start the process of stripping you down. Let's see what's right at the top. Never really ever bothered to strip one of these down, but we're going to do it now. Because this one building should give me enough blocks to probably actually repair the uh, or build the hangar deck in hardened steel blocks um, and I've got some sapien plates so I, what I could do is put the hardened blocks on and then upgrade them which is another way that rather than actually making the sapien blocks I mean I'll go into this when, when we build the hangar deck but it's a little bit of a hack in the sense that if you you want to go to combat steel blocks but you don't want to go to the trouble of manufacturing them and you've got the safety in plates what you can do is and you've got and assuming also that you've got a big supply of hardened steel blocks like which I'm building up now what you can do is effectively um, build with hardened steel blocks and then go through and actually upgrade them going to clear this top bit because obviously this isn't particularly that interesting another tip when you're if you look after blocks is you go for the points you get the same block but with less effort with the multi-tool as well so if you like say for example little bits like this you can get some quick wins just by picking off the the narrow angled little bits and pieces Rather than going, so if you go for a full size block, see, well, it's a, it's a thin block there, but it's got a full size block here. They, they they take several kind of pick throughs like that, see. That's an alien block, actually. Other than still block. Take a bit of a chance through here. Then we'll just tunnel up. Again, see, for example, here. You can get a, get a block with a single press of the multi tool because these actually the ones that go to points often require less effort. Okay, I think that's enough to be going on with. Yeah, <laughs> we are ships very heavy. Whoops. Okay, we're overloaded. But I have a solution. Portable constructor. Drop you off there. Because I don't want to lose the blocks that I've got. That 34% um, thingy. Right. Um, you there. Probably put the radioactive matter in there. This is a, what, another reason why I like to carry a portable constructor with me. It's still top heavy. Uh, I think we can move very, very slowly. So we'll do an imitation of a hover tank. Luckily the ground is flat-ish. Plus the fact if we can get a little bit of speed up we get lift from the aerodynamic shape of the ship. Which is another thing that you can do. So, uh, 
obviously I can't land on the upper deck. <laughs> uh, what we can do is just park here. Down. Well, I can land on the upper deck, come to think of it. Uh, CB main storage. Just offload stuff. Inputs. Get rid of you, get, put that in there. Okay. It's back to main storage, put that in there, put that in there. And that should allow me to lift the ship off. I think we're going to leave the portable constructor there just at the moment. Okay. Obviously we're still getting visitors which are consuming my ammunition, but that's okay. It is tracking. Yeah, um, yeah we're going to have to radiation on this planet. 29.7 and I've got enhanced radiation. Let's get rid of that now. Back to there. Right, we're going to need a bit of a scrub down. Um, what is this? There it is. <clears throat> I'll just scrub off the radiation and then it's a bit of an unload. Uh, it's the harvest controller. Uh -huh. uh, I like the CB on that side. So we're just going to finish the offload, get that there. Cargo boxes, oh, I've got a little bit of that. Right, we've got we've got quite a few laser cannons. I think we're going to put them in there for the moment. Uh, food and meds. Let's let me put that in there. Gather that stuff together. Uh, what we got here? Time for value goods that can go in there. Certainly got some hacking software. These are the containers that. I want to get, um, we need to um, trade, is probably the best way to describe it. Surplus weapons, you can go in there as well. Um, I'll put the, put you in salvage. Um, I mean, that's not really a great amount, so. Right, I think just to finish this video off, we're going, I'm going to go to main storage. What happened to all those blocks that I've got? got 600 and we've got 102 hard blocks and like that. And I just want to do a little bit of work on the, because what I've started doing here, I don't know if you can actually see it in this Merc, but I've started bringing out, oops, we're going to need to take the shield off. What I've started doing is bringing out this lowest level. Uh, we're not going to worry, worry about the, the symmetry play because by doing this, in fact, I've, put a block there I need to start planning the size of the hangar deck so we can come out like that I can probably take out start retrieving these these are only steel blocks anyway so <laughs> um, we probably don't need you don't need you because of course we've got to plan the hangar deck. So I wanna that we got I think I'm gonna hollow this out anyway, didn't I? So uh just take this out here. Um just trim these away.
Actually, is this planet breathable? Yes, it is. That's good. It won't help the environment situation. So what we're starting to get now is the kind of opening up this area here. So that we can, oops. Ah. Just done exactly what I said I didn't want to do. Luckily, oh, this would be a good test actually. Uh, debug, oxygen. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You can't see the oxygen while you're actually in the drone. Yeah, it's my mistake there. Sorry about that. So we'll just do a quick test. Uh, I'm going to take out the window here. Oh, of course. No, it looks like we may still have an oxygen problem. So, something that. Yeah. So, the ship is not completely airtight. So, we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Uh, luckily, I seem to have got away with it. Mainly because we are on a actually a planet with a breathable atmosphere, so <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Gonna retrieve these blocks. I have to take off the sentry guns. That's going to leave the back of the ship a little bit exposed. Uh, we're going to need to remove those as well. I think what I'm going to have to do is we're going to have to plan in the actual hangar deck and then uh, take these windows out. So these could become internal windows. Um, uh, so the other thing I want to measure up is we need one, two, actually, let's just, just going to try this out. Let me just see main storage. This would be the quicker, quickest way of doing this is my favorite is nine by five now i'm not saying this isn't the final position this is just be confirming the height so we can actually use a nine by five hanger and what i can do is uh just that back across the back there like that I've, every time I've built a hanger so far, I've used an uh, actual hanger. What I'm kind of half thinking about now is we're going to use the 9x5 as a template. But once I've got the hanger to the size that I actually want it to be, I'm seriously considering uh, possibly using force fields with blast doors above it. But I'm not sure how the mechanics are going to work. So, so, so at the moment I'm just going to use this as a guide to the size of the entrance I want because I know that I can get a good sized ship through a 9x5 hangar. So, but of course we're going to need to make go a lot deeper than what we got here because of, because of what we're going to need to do is, in fact I think what I will do is I'm going to come out here, I know I'm doing it the clumsy way but is I can use this to set the width of the entrance like this. So we know that that comes out that far. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is work out the depth. I mean, ideally it would be nice to have side entrances, but that would make the ship way too big. And I'm already pushing out far enough there. We're probably going to need to bring these thrusters but not necessarily actually we might need to bring them back a couple of blocks 
um, so that um, so that we, we so I may recess the thrusters depending on how far the hangar deck comes back. Uh, actually, let me just. Uh, just out these as well. So we'll just take those out like that. Put this here. That there. In fact, we could probably would make this into a solid area. So might as well do that. Should have put the symmetry plane on, shouldn't I? Um, right, we're out of blocks. Got some more enough to just finish off this bit. <laughs> this type of layout, I'm tempted to leave this the way it is and then possibly bring it back in again so that we've got a kind of upper landing area here. Actually, I'm going to... We're out of blocks again. Yeah, we've just got one block missing on the end. That's not a problem. So we've kind of got a full width of the ship there. And so we've, I've actually got, quite accidentally, to the, the kind of delta width type format that I was looking for actually uh, the question now and this is going to come down to what I mentioned earlier that uh, I'm looking for a reasonable size hover tank and of course the hover tank is going to need to fit into here and it's going to be the hover tank which may actually define the size of the, um, the hangar deck I think this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting what I will do is not that is mine this lithium deposits off camera because we're going to need that to upgrade these blocks to a uh to combat steel and and i think what we will do is we're going to continue harassing the xerax in this area to get this mission here i think we are definitely going to stay until we've killed 200 xerax i think that will make a big difference uh, let's have a quick look here. I don't think this is going to be ready. No. So this is where I'm going to leave it. Have a good time over the holiday season, but more importantly, stay safe. But uh, until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.